Hello everyone, it's Karina. For this video, I thought I'd go ahead and share with you some of the Valentine's Day projects I've been working on. And yeah, this is gonna be a fun, quick little video. So I'm gonna first share with you the pocket letter that I made. So here it is. I'm using the Hello Love paper collection and the stickers and embellishments and stuff like that are mostly from the main squeeze paper collection or the heart day so here is a close-up of the first three pockets and this one is my favorite look how cute the little faces are and then here are the other three and I did stitch it down here to keep the pocket closed for the shaker And then the last three pockets. I love how this turned out. I think it's super adorable. So that is the first project. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted a picture of these mini loaded bags. And I absolutely love this tassel. This is from Hobby Lobby. And yeah, again, just using the Hello Love paper collection and um, the main squeeze or heart day stickers. And I added some enamel dots. So that is that and then I think I picked these paper bags up at Michael's last year they're so cute I love the color perfect for Valentine's Day and for this next project I did upload a video of my process video so I will link that down below in case you guys haven't checked that out so here is the first shaker so this one's more of a Valentine's Day theme with all the pinks and reds I also made this one using the Heart Day Paper Collection. This one is one of my favorites. I love the shaker mix I did for this one. And then lastly, um, I'm using a collection by Doodlebug for this one. And you could see all the sequins getting stuck in there. I'm going to have to fix that somehow, but I love this one as well. And one of my favorite projects that I made this year were these memory decks cards and I did post a picture of these on my Instagram as well and look how cute these are these are my favorite like I said I just love how these turned out and these are perfect for like little Valentine's Day card you could just write your little sentiment there or your little letter so yeah I absolutely love these my favorite one is this one right here and this one but yeah, I'm using the Main Squeeze Paper Collection for this, and then the die is from Heidi Swap, I believe. On to the next project so I made a tag flip book and I haven't done one of these in forever I'm using the main squeeze collection and on the ring I tied some samples of some trim I also included this tassel and I just think that looks so cute with all the different um, types of trim so I did that and then yeah here is the cover and the sticker just fell these flowers here are from Hobby Lobby. They're little floral stickers. And I also picked up that mint doily from Hobby Lobby, I believe. Isn't that really cute? I love that color. And then here is the pocket, so the first pocket. The trim is from Hobby Lobby. And then here is the last pocket. I absolutely love this little guy right here. He's just too adorable. So that is the tag flipbook. I also wanted to create some vintage Valentine's Day cards using my authentic paper pad because I have two and I haven't used them that much, but I was really inspired to make something. So here is the first card that I made using, let me see if I can go find the name of the collection real quick. 
So uh, the first one that I was able to find is this one. It's called Valentine Combo. And I do have another, but I forget the name. So that paper collection comes with a lot of cutter parts. So I use that as like my main little piece in the middle. This Be Mine sticker I added on there. And I also distressed the edges with my distressed ink. And I think it is called Vintage Photo. Yeah, it's this one right here. And look how cute that is. I decided to keep it pretty simple. But I love it. And then the second one I made is this one right here. I also distressed the edges with a pink distress ink. And using another cut apart there. And then this right here was a cut apart as well. Um, but what I did is just cut out the little sentiment piece, added this banner and I'm missing a little gem right here here it is and then I added these cute little pearls there and then this was gifted to me by Rhonda last year so thank you so much Rhonda for that uh, she made me this embellishment box with these cute crochet flowers and yeah she made me this last year I do have a video of my project share I believe that using that on here and I think that just looks really cute and then on the inside it says I love you yesterday I love you still I always have I always will and that's from a cut apart that I fussy cut out and then the last one is my absolute favorite I love the cluster of flowers on the edges there and then these were also gifted to me by Rhonda these cute little butterflies and I added an enamel dot right in the middle, um, this pearl trim, also gifted by Rhonda, which I love. And then the little sentiment right here is a wooden piece that says love. And I haven't done anything on the inside quite yet, but look how pretty that is. I fell in love with this. I can do a close-up of the others as well. I also altered this egg carton and I kept it pretty simple. I'm not quite sure what collection I'm using. Here is the inside. And here I just included some of these little um, puffy balls, pom poms. <laughs> and then I added some of these stickers, these hearts right here foam hearts with the glitter and then these are from Walmart it says XOXO and then these are from the Target dollar spot I think I think from last year so they have these cute little pastries and then these little felt stickies but yeah you can put a lot of little embellishments here and I think that's just a super cute idea and one of my most recent projects that I've been working on is this embellishment box. And look how cute that is. This chipboard piece is from the Main Squeeze chipboard stickers. And then these little guys right here are from Doodlebug and the collection is called Cream and Sugar. And I just absolutely love how this turned out. I haven't put anything on the inside yet, but yeah, that's how it looks like as of right now but yeah that is the last thing I have to share I hope you guys got some inspiration uh, let me know what you guys think and also if you have any questions leave them down below and as always thank you guys so 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 much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video bye everyone